Hi, this is Alex Efros, President and Founder of Athlon Wealth Management. As an investment advisor, I receive many questions regarding mutual funds, so I want to make this video to provide some insights which investors may find useful. Basically, a mutual fund is an investment vehicle which allows individuals and businesses to pool their money together and have it invested by professional money managers. Just as you would visit a mechanic to fix your car or visit a doctor for medical care, many people find that hiring an investment professional makes sense for them. The purpose of a mutual fund is to provide diversification as well as risk management. Generally, the goal for a fund manager is to make as much money as possible for the fund's investors while also protecting them from losses. A fund manager can do this by investing across many different companies, countries, credit ratings, security types, and also risk levels. The specific strategy for each fund can be found in that fund's prospectus, which also contains other information relevant for investors. You should always read the fund's prospectus before making an investment to ensure that a particular fund is right for you. There are many different kinds of mutual funds. For example, there are equity funds which invest in shares of public and private companies, and there are also income funds which generally hold bonds and other fixed income instruments. There are also funds which may hold a combination of the two and may also utilize derivatives to maximize returns for investors. The performance of a mutual fund is determined by the underlying securities which the fund invests in. If a fund holds a share of stock, for example, then the fund's investors participate in any increase or decrease in the market value of that share, which is the price that may be quoted on a stock exchange for that particular security. Fund investors also receive any dividends that are paid out by the companies whose shares are held by the fund. With fixed income instruments, investors also participate in increases or decreases in the market price. Instead of dividends, however, they receive interest that is paid out on the bonds or other fixed income instruments held by the fund. You may have heard mutual funds being referred to as open-ended investment companies. The term open-ended means that the number of shares that can be issued by the fund is unlimited. So instead of buying shares from other investors, as you might when you purchase a share of stock, you actually buy and sell shares directly to and from the fund's issuer. Because of this, mutual funds are said to be a liquid investment because you can generally buy or sell your shares within a few days. This may not be the case with other pooled investment vehicles, like hedge funds and private equity investments, which may require you to lock in your money for months or even years at a time. Each mutual fund share allows you to participate in the gains and losses incurred by the fund. So let's say one investor puts in $1 million. Then another investor comes in and puts in a million as well. The total size of the fund would grow to $2 million, with each investor being able to participate in one half of the gains or losses incurred by the fund. Investors in mutual funds can be individuals, public or private companies, retirement plans, and even other funds. The primary advantage to investing in a mutual fund is diversification, which means that your money is invested across many different security types and asset classes. The purpose of this is to reduce the risk that a loss on any particular investment will be seriously detrimental to the overall portfolio. A fund can hold dozens or even hundreds of securities, which means that each holding might represent only 1 or 2 percent of the entire value of the fund. Another advantage of mutual funds is professional management. Investing in securities involves a tremendous amount of research and analysis, which can be both very expensive and time-consuming. When you invest in a fund, you have the opportunity to employ a fund manager with significant investment experience and also a proven track record. Thirdly, Fund investors may benefit from economies of scale because funds may receive discounted rates from brokerage firms and other service providers. A fourth advantage is that funds may use derivatives for purposes of speculation and for hedging. This is done to maximize returns in some cases or to prevent losses in others. Funds may employ a wide variety of derivatives to execute their strategies, many of which are only provided to reputable investment companies and may be unavailable to individual investors. So an individual looking to protect their portfolio may not have access to all the tools that a fund might employ on their behalf.
The advantages I mentioned earlier do come at a cost. Mutual funds charge fees for their services, which are taken out before distributions are made to investors. These fees are based on assets under management and may range up to 1%, 1.5%, or even higher in some cases. Passively managed funds generally charge lower fees. The fee schedule for a particular fund can be found in the fund's prospectus. One thing that investors should watch out for are sales charges, also known as loads, which may be assessed either when you invest in or pull your money out of a fund. These charges can range up to 5% or higher in some cases. When you are charged a front-end load, money is taken out from your account before fund shares are purchased. So for example, if you were to invest $100 at a 5% load, only $95 would actually be invested in the market. This is an important consideration for investors because that 5% not only reduces your returns in the first year, but also in subsequent years when you consider the compounding of returns that you may be missing out on. Even though mutual funds provide diversification as well as risk management, there are unfortunately no guarantees against loss. The markets tend to move quickly and even the most experienced and well-known fund managers may underperform at times. This means that investors should continually monitor their portfolios to ensure that they remain on track to meet their investment goals. Although I've only covered some of the aspects regarding mutual funds, I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please feel free to also visit our website at athlonwealth.com for more information regarding the services we provide. That's A-T-H-E-L-O-N wealth.com. Once again, this is Alex Efros. Thanks for watching.